مونوبولي مين لعب مونوبولي هنا قبل كده يعني يو كان اولموست ثينك اوف ويب 3 از ا جوينت مونوبولي جيم ويذن اند ذيرز ميني مونوبولي جيمز ويذن ات فكل واحد فينا بيلعب وي ذيرز ا توكن ذات وي هولد اند ذات ريبريزنتس هو وي ار ذيرز كيرنسي ان ذيس جيم اند وي وونت تو باي ريل استيت اند اسيتس um it's almost think of any the examples that we're going to cover today we're going to relate it to monopoly to a certain extent uh because this is what web3 is allowing people to do this is allowing people to build their own design their own monopoly games and every participant and user or builder that's participating to help this game evolve is partly an owner or an investor in the game for whoa bardo wins from uh, from the network and what's happening is that we are rebuilding the stock market only the only difference now for web3 is that this stock market is 24/7 it's a lot, it's it's always on um uh, and everyone is an owner and an investor in the stock market so and that's what it is facilitating if you've played games you will be one of the early adopters in web3 and uh because as the interface um it's it's it's, it's really fascinating how gamers actually uh know more about the future than uh what the university taught us yeah all the gamers that are playing today will be able to make money from the games that they play and cash out in egyptian pounds or us dollars this is actually happening today and we're going to go through through some examples um and many say it is the golden age for creators and artists um there are a lot of intermediaries that take a lot of the 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 share from creators and artists and uh, now with web3 there's an ability for artists and creators to monetize directly from their fans and this is where we what we think web3 is making possible hats now kalimat on the metaverse nfts ai gaming blockchain ethereum crypto and decentralization these are all buzzwords and keywords that fall under the umbrella of web3 but ultimately what it is it's an emergence of an open internet of value the internet al qadim web1 and web2 was all about the exchange of value and web3 has become the uh, was web1 and web2 was the exchange of information web3 is becoming the exchange of value uh what it is is a fundamentally new approach to corporate governance value creation and stakeholder participation with equitable interests so everybody wins 